Hello. Hey, how are you? We have seen you today skiing with your family. Oh, we're on the street, man. Yeah, we're, we're just so young. Uh, did you enjoy it? Yeah, 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 man. I like, it. I like watching her because this is like second day on skis, you know what I mean? So. Uh, you are here in uh, Arc Film Festival right. uh, for your film Tommaso, uh, right. which was before in Cannes uh, this yeah. year. Is Tommaso even more personal for you than your past movies? They're all personal, man. You know, they're all personal. I mean, it's kind of return. We be shooting like low budget, you know, you know, home, home style, you know. Um, but it's also a, very much a uh, product of the documentaries we've done, which I didn't start doing until later on. So I think, you know, in a way, you know, every film has elements of, of, of your whole career. And like Are there real details about your life? Right. Real meaning what? Well, you know, the film starts off with, you know, the, the, the basis of the film was basically my life in Rome. So, <clears throat> but that's just the beginning, you know. I mean, where you start with a film is not where the film ends up. Okay, so there's elements of my life, fine, you know. I'm not playing it. You know, it's not a film about, you know. You know, I didn't hide cameras in my house. It's not a reality show. It's a movie. You know, so whatever elements of mine, that's the beginning, whether we kept them or not. You know, then Willem, we introduced Willem into the, you know, and then it became elements of his life. And as many elements of his life as mine, you know. And in the end, you have a character, so it doesn't matter where you start, you know. And uh, how do you like to show the city of Rome? Is that a source of uh, inspiration for you? Well, I've lived there for six years, you know, so, you know, and I, I, you know, I love it. I love the look of it, you know, especially the neighborhood I live in. And, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful city. It's a beautiful light there. Not just the lights that they built, which are beautiful, but the light that's just there, you know. Was it important for you to shoot Tommaso in Rome? Well, how could it be in any other city? I mean, how could it be? I mean, it could be, but, you know, I'm living there. It's about the people I know. It's about the life I'm living. Music is always important for you. How did you choose the one for Tommaso? No, I mean, that piece, Christina dances to that piece. You know, it's something she, she listens to. So some of the stuff is things she does, we do, we like, you know. You know, the score to the movie was, you know, kind of blues-based, you know, which is, you know, the kind of music we play, but we never really use in the movies, you know, just like straight blues, you know, so. Uh, the movie begins joyfully with a happy family, but further we discover that uh, the main character cannot escape from his past, And uh, it's sad, but you think about it. The one, well, and how joyfully it starts. I mean, it, it, it takes place over a short period of time. I think maybe you would perceive it because of, like, I don't know, you know, you see a family and they're eating and everybody would expect it to be a happy family. But obviously, I mean, there's a situation going on in this group between, you know, Christina, I mean, between the character, you know, the mother and the father that's there from the very beginning. So. You create a real time scene um, with a very realistic staging. Right. Uh, can you talk more about it? You know, that's, you know, again, we're coming from a documentary kind of style of shooting and, uh, You know, when you have the actors that could play these scenes, I mean, they're more, much more powerful, you know. Editing always makes scenes less powerful, usually, usually. Not all the time, but, you know. You know, if you can get there without the cutting, I mean, it becomes so much more 
for me, powerful. You know, but you have to have the the elements, the, you know, the actors, the scene, the cameraman. You know, it's where the digital pays off. What can you tell us about your friendship with Willem Dafoe in terms of relationships, the way you work with him, the way you live with him, the way you create with him? You know, we have a group that work together, you know, in Rome. I mean, because him and I are both have one foot in the United States and one foot in Rome, we're able to work with two, you know, my two kind of bands that I'm in. I'm in the European, Roman, Italian troupe, and I'm in also in the, um, you know, I have the New York thing going. You know, Willem kind of, you know, like bridges the, the both groups. You know, he's, um, you know, he works a lot. He's busy. He's out there. So I don't see him all that much, you know. You know, I mean, working is almost an excuse so we could be together. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, he comes and, bring, you know, between things we do together, he does his thing. And, you know, he brings that experience back. And, you know, we're doing our thing. And... We just connect, you know. We've done it a bunch of times, so we we have our language and we know what it is that's going to make it work and uh, we know what we want to do, you know, and we know what we don't want to do and we know who we don't want to be doing it with. So we're able to constantly focus down on getting to, like, the real, you know, just to the no-bullshit filmmaking. You know, where all the, you know, anything that's a distraction is, is we just eliminate. You both live in Roma now? Yeah, yeah. He lives around the corner from me. We live in Piazza Vittorio. For you, it seems very natural. For him, maybe it's something more experimental. What do you think? To what? Uh, Tommaso? To, to go to... Because you you used to live in Little Italy. You have something Italian in you, of Yeah, course. right, right, right. It's not, it's not the same for him. Oh, for Willem. Oh, yeah, he's like, you know, he, he comes from middle America. I mean, I don't think he's met an Italian person until he came to New York. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, he's... um. But he, he's there now, man. He speaks a language. He lives a life. He's married to an Italian woman for a long time. So he's like, you know, he's got his passport. He's, he's a legitimate Italian. Back to you. Why did you choose Roma? Why didn't you choose something like Salerno, for instance? Salerno? Yes. Could have been some sense for yeah, you? Yeah, because Rome is like Hollywood, you know. I mean, Rome is a place filmmakers go to. You know, you know, I'm a filmmaker. You know, I got to be in a community where there's, you know, I mean, it's hard enough to raise money and finance films. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, got, I can't be off the beaten track. I mean, Salerno is actually the town where my family is from. But I can't, you know, you either got to be in New York, Paris, Hollywood, you know, I mean, you got to be somewhere, you know what I mean? You know, I'm, I'm, I have to finance these movies, you know, you know what I'm saying? I have to put them together. I can't, how am I going to do you that? Have to, you have to be there. Be in Rome. Well, if I'm going to be in Italy, Rome is, is, you know, there's no other city. I mean, it's the filmmaking city for the, for Italy. In the 90s, there was a short window for independent movie in the US and you were definitely one of the leaders of this movement but this window was very short and closed itself very quickly yeah. that's one of the reasons that why for you it was difficult to, to, make, to make movies there but what do you think is that something you could go back to do, do you dream to, to make a non dual percent American film or not I mean I uh... We just did it. I mean, I, I made it. Again. Objectionist. I mean, I, Welcome to New York is basically an independent New York movie. Um, I don't dream of anything. You know, I mean, I, I, I just, 
as the situations present themselves, you know, I mean, we, our films begin on our in our imagination. So, wherever that leads us, if it leads us to New York, if it leads us, to, you know, to a desert in Mexico, you know, near Yuma, Arizona, that's where we are, you know. And if it leads to a small kind of thing like Tommaso or a much bigger thing. That that's because of, of 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 where our creativity is, you know. We're following our muse, you know. We're following our the story, you know. And then you know, I mean, there's no going back to any of these situations, you know. If it happens in New York, great, you know. I'm cool with New York, but you know, I'd also like to be cool. I like to do it other places, man, you know. You know, I travel a lot, which is, you know, the great, you know, it's a great advantage to being a filmmaker and, and living in Europe because places aren't so far away, you know. So you can go to all different places. So, you know, showing the movies and being there, I like to do it making the movies, you know. Critics often identified you as the director that gives his best when he, he speaks about something he knows very well, uh, speaking about thematics like um, drug addiction, addiction in general, uh, the um, un unpossibility of redemption, uh, other thematics like religion, uh, uh, the, the choice of a man in life. What do you think of that? Are you bored with that? With what? Is that critic of or critics always telling you or the the um, the director of some thematics? Well, you know, I mean, they're reacting to the movie, so that's their reaction. I mean, they're trying to find a you know a through line, so, you know, trying to trying to through line sometimes what is not a through line, you know, trying to um, make sense out of a director and and his body of work, you know, I guess, you know, and it could be, you know, a lot of that is, is people don't really watch the movie, you know, one person comes up with that idea and then other people just think it's cool and then they just say it because that's, you know, you know, so redemption is the word to use if you're going to talk to me, but like, what is redemption and what do they, what do they mean by it? You know, and I mean by it, it means one thing and, you know, obviously Bad Lieutenant could mean another thing in 444, another thing in Tommaso, you know. And my feelings towards that changes every time I see it in any other movie. Well, I mean, it, I don't look at it as thematics, it's life, man, you know. We're trying to capture life, so in life, yeah, there's these questions, there's these answers, there's these, you know, these impulses, there's these desires, there's these... You know, personal defects, his, his dreams, his, you know, what he's capable of, what he's not. You know, just trying to get to the nature of a person. Siberia, should it be your next film? Yeah, it's, it'll, it's, it's done, it's done. Yeah, it's just finished, pretty much. Is there something in your long career you haven't experienced, you dream to do? Yeah, but I'm not dreaming it. I'm doing it, you know. It's like I just keep going, you know. You know, so I'm not, like, hoping on anything from the past. Everything's in front of me. I could theoretically do whatever I want to do, but I'm, you know, slave to my imagination, you know. We, we were, like, you know, victims of our own creativity. You know? So I'm just trying to, you know, focus in on what we're going to do next and, Whoever it takes us, however we need to, whatever we need to do to make it happen, you know, we'll do it. Okay. Thank you very much. You want to talk to these two, Christina? Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Huh. Yeah, you saw it. She took our picture today. On this, remember when you were? I didn't uh, recognize you. Did you enjoy uh, the ski? Oh, 
Oh yes, yes, you like very it? much. I did an hour and I was so tired. <laughs> I I am out of practice. <laughs> did you enjoy the ski? Yes. Yes. <laughs> says yes. I uh, saw uh, Tommaso in Cannes Film yeah. Festival and I liked it. Yeah. I liked it so much. Um, do you like to talk about uh, your your character in the film? <laughs> I mean, to talk about, I think it's very explicit, you know, the character. It's very, it's there. I, it's not like it's some, so something mysterious or simple woman, you know, in a relationship. And then the relationship, you know, kind of breaks up. So how you deal with it, basically, how you deal with that. Having also a, a child, you know, two people have a, a child and then things don't go. So what do you do? I think that's the key of, for me, that's the Tommaso, you know. What do you do in a situation like this? You know, you go crazy, you scream, you cry, you fight with each other. You know, all the crazy stuff that you do. So that's basically, yeah, <laughs> Tommaso. And, um, is, the, is the character close to you? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even a character, it's me. It's me, yes, not a hundred percent, because you always, you know, it's you gotta stay true to the story that Abel wanted to to tell, and it's not like everything true, you know. It's a fiction, yeah. It's a fictional movie, so. But we took the inspiration from our life, from our relationship from ourselves yeah that that yeah <laughs> how is your husband and your dad as a director he's a good, he's a good daddy yes okay that's the best answer He's a, and he's a good daddy. Mm, yes. Okay. You got them all. He's got them all. <laughs> okay. You you didn't say it. I. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 the man. You know, he's 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 a true man. And it's not easy to be around men like that. How long is going to be, you know, it will be. You can, you know. And to working with uh, Willem Dafoe? Yeah, Willem is a completely different kind of, of, of person, you know. He's there, he's very concerned, he's very... He's the only true actor in this movie. Everybody is non-actors. You know, myself included, people from the street, our neighbor. So everybody's there themselves, but William is is the true professional actor and perfect. You know, professional acting. So he is has that ability to, you know, all these non actors to kind of deal with them and he can he really can because he has a, a great deal of humanity in 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 him you know uh, he's not like uh, hollywood actors that i don't know uh, forget what's just being and dealing with simple p people from the streets he can it's that beautiful i think that's beautiful and he's very perfectionist, you know, he's concerned about 
we're gonna do that. Christina, don't be scared. Everything's gonna be fine. Calm me down, you know, if somebody gets too excited. Really, really, really help me. Really, 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 really much. So, William. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.